Good morning, everyone. I'm Zhen Ning from the State University of New York at Binghamton. Today, I'm going to talk about how to explore tier memory for internal file system caching. This is a joint work with Ling Fengxiang and Jia Rao from the University of Texas at Arlington and Hui Lui from the State University of New York at Binghamton. So far, we have been observing the following trends in storage technologies. First, storage devices become increasingly fast. They evolve from the rotating base HDD to land based SSD and to today's non volatile memory. Second, in addition to traditional block based interface, storage devices such as persistent memory and emerging CSL based storage devices expose a memory like and biodigestible interface. Given such fast and biodigestible storage devices, recent work and we have observed that the software overhead becomes more and more dominant in storage stacks. Here, we use a concrete example to illustrate this overhead. We run a traditional kernel file system, named as ST4, on top of Intel Optane persistent memory. We chose the test version of ST4, which leverages the biodigestibility of persistent memory. We would like to see whether EST4 can fully leverage the capability for persistent memory. We first saw uh, the upper bound write bandwidth of persistent memory, which is 9 gigabytes per second, shown as the green light in this figure. Then we use three different I.O. sites, 1K, 4K, and 64K to measure the sequential write bandwidth of the EST4 DEX file system. As we can see, while the persistent memory upper bound write bandwidth is about 9 gigabytes per second, the EST4 DEX file system can only achieve about 2.5 gigs per second when the IO size is 64K. Such a gap becomes even larger when the IO size is smaller. It clearly shows that the kernel file system in this EST4 DEX cannot fully explore the available PM's bandwidth. To mitigate software overhead and better exploit fast and biodigestible storage devices, one current research direction is to develop the specialized file system tailored for emerging new storage devices, such as persistent memory. In this table, we listed some of them, including the East Vortex, SFS Dex, Nova, Strata, and SplitFS. They have been proposed to address challenges in how to leverage biodigestibility, how to ensure crash consistency, and how to achieve high performance. However, the biggest roadblock of PM specialized file system is that it could take years for such a file system to mature and become production ready. So our question is that can existing well-tested and production-ready kernel file system effectively evolve to harness performance benefits and new characteristics of emerging storage devices, achieving the same property as those device specialized file system while requiring no application modification and radical system redesign. To answer these questions, we gathered the main insights from state-of-the-art PM specialized approaches. Insight number one, Minimize the number of software-related tests to have a streamlined I.O. critical path. For example, the figure shows the I.O. critical path for a vanilla kernel file system. To persist data to storage devices, the application first issues a write request. Such a write request then goes through multiple software layers, including the system core interface, the virtual file system, the internal file system, which is EST4, the generic block layer, and finally, the underlying storage devices. A user-space approach, split FS, separates the file system operations into fast pass operations and slow pass operations. The fast pass operations, like data operations, can be handled directly in the user space for high performance. The slow pass operations, like metadata operations, are handled in the kernel space for compatibility and safety. By doing this, 
The split FS approach achieves a much shorter IO critical path for most of IO operations. In slide number two, by using a lightweight journaling mechanism, we can enable strong crash consistency with little performance overhead. For example, traditional kernel file systems such as ESD4 ensures file system consistency with a block-based journaling mechanism like JBD2. The block-based journaling mechanism is very heavyweight. Uh, it, it requires a complex transaction operations involving multiple block writes. In contrast, Upon fast and biodigestible storage devices, lightweight journaling can enable strong consistency with little overhead. For instance, Nova ensures that each file system update is synchronously persisted in an atomic manner by atomically updating an 8 byte pointer on persistent memory. Inside number three, PM or modern NVMe SSD with the advent of the high-speed CPU-to-device interconnect technology like Compute Express Link, provide a memory-like and biodigestible interface. It offers new design and optimization opportunities to storage systems, such as efficient handling of small writes for file system updates without write amplification. Inspired by these insights, we propose p squared cache, a novel in-kernel caching mechanism. p squared cache is a thin kernel module working under Linux virtual file system. It consists of 2,000 lines of code. The goal of p squared cache is to enable key properties of PM specialized file systems for legacy kernel file system, including instant data durability, strong consistency, high performance, while requiring no modification. P Square Cache is now open source on GitHub. The design of P Square, P -square Cache adopts four main design choices. First, P Square Cache employs a rewrite distinguishable memory hierarchy. Unlike a traditional hierarchy, where all IO requests are first handled by the upper performance layer and then consumed by the lower capacity layer. P square cache distinguishes read and write operations in PM DRAM memory hierarchy. In P square cache, all writes are first persisted to a new persistent cache running on top of persistent memory. Persisting each update in the persistent cache can ensure instant data durability and strong, strong crash consistency. Meanwhile, a copy of data modification is also made in the DRAM-based page cache. The double write mechanism ensures that both persistent cache and DRAM-based page cache have the same data version. The double write mechanism further ena enables a much simpler read path. Reads are first searched from the page cache, if not found, P square cache searches PM based persistent cache and the underlying file systems in sequence. Unlike most existing PM specialized file systems that bypass the DRAM based page cache, our solutions still rely on the page cache for high read performance. The cache data in the persistent cache will be asynchronously written back to the underlying legacy file system through existing unmodified IO interface. As we can see that only the blue and green paths reside along the critical paths, and we made them as short as possible to make our solution efficient. Second, the persistent cache is built upon a lightweight operation log. It quickly and efficiently captures all file system update operations and records the operations in a right hand log. Here shows an example. With, with a relatively complex command, MV, which moves the file b.txt to a different directory. This command also relames the file b.txt to d.txt. p has first appends an operation log entry, which is shown in the gray box in the figure. 
then PSQLcat simply commits the log entry by atomically advancing the log trail pointer on persistent memory. As we can see here, PSQLcat uses only a log entry to persist a complex operations. No complex transactions are involved for data persistence. The lightweight operation log ensures instant data and metadata durability. The atomic update of the log tail pointer ensures strong cross consistency. The third design in our solution is that it leverages PM spider addressability to speed up data updates, especially for small writes. Our solution distinguishes different types of writes based on their size and treats small writes and large writes differently. Here, we only highlight the mechanism for small writes. For example, the left hand figure shows a small write case, which appends a 1 kilobyte data to a 5 kilobyte file. P square case first copy the data directly to the data blocks at the end of file then atomically commits a file operation log entry. That's it, very simple. There's another type of write, which is overwrite. To overwrite one kilobyte data in a five kilobyte file, p square cache uses a different strategy. p square cache first appends a file operation log entry, then append the data right after the log, log entry. Finally, PSGREC has atomically commits the log entry and data. This approach ensures data consistency by never overwriting any old data before the commit stage. Compared with existing approaches, PSGREC has avoids the costly copy and write operation in the IO critical path. While, while our solution persistent cache benefits writes it challenge reads. A read operations may involve data scattered across various locations. For example, in this figure, an application want to read the first 4K page of the file. However, this read operation involves data residing on both PM's persistent cache and the write log. To ensure a fast read, p square cache leverage in DRAM indexes to facilitate data search. p square cache maintains data updates of a file in, in DRAM indexes, illustrated as the green tree here. These indexes keep track of full and partial data blocks in the DRAM-based cache, PM-based persistent cache, and the write ahead log. With these in DRAM indexes, the data content of a read request can be quickly assembled in this example, p square cache will copy the data block from the PM-based persistent cache and the parcel overwritten data from the right head log. The result will be the merged data block, which will be returned to the application. When we put all this together, we get the final design of p square cache. First, our solution exploits a new read-write distinguishable memory hierarchy. Second, our solution introduces a lightweight operation log for instant data durability and strong consistency. Third, our solution leverages PM spider addressability to persist updates efficiently. Last, our solution achieves fast read via Ethereum indexes and Ethereum-based page cache. We have evaluated the effectiveness of p square cache using both micro benchmark and real world applications. Here shows the basic configuration of our testbed. Most importantly, we install four Intel Optimus 200 series persistent memory in our testbed. We compare p square cache with EST4, EST4 data journaling, SFS, all operating on the SSD. We also compare p square cache with EST4 DEX, SFS DEX, and Nova operating on persistent memory. <coughs> we first saw how p square cache benefits metadata operations. In this figure, we chose four metadata operations of five systems. More can be found in our paper. The result shows that 
our solution significantly accelerates the speed of all four metadata operations compared to all other cases. For example, compared to the PM Specialized File System Nova, our solution shows around three times performance improvement. This is due to the lightweight operation log of P Square Cache. Next, we demonstrate, demonstrate how P Square Cache benefits data operations. In this figure, we chose four data operations override 1K, append 1K, 4K, and 64K. Our solution outperforms other approaches in write performance due to its streamlined write, quick write IO pass. Further, we demonstrate how P Square Cache benefits read performance. In this test, we pre-created a file and wrote data to it, to it, so the file data could be cached in the page cache. The figure shows that P Square Cache achieves the same or slightly better performance as ext 4 which both leverage the DRAM page cache. We observe that P Square Cache outperforms other PM-related approaches significantly. This is because other PM-based approach do not leverage the page cache. Finally, for real-world applications, we selected the RocksDB case. You can find others in our paper. RocksDB is a persistent key value store. We use single thread for the insert operations and a thread for the read operations. The figure shows that P square cache greatly outperforms all other approaches for small writes due to its PM specialized logging mechanism. As we purposely conducted the test of reads after insert to have all records stored in the DRAM, both P square cache and EST4 achieve higher read performance than EST4 DEX and Nova. In summary, we introduce P square cache and in kernel caching mechanism which harness performance benefit of PM for legacy kernel file system via a read-write distinguishable memory hierarchy, a lightweight operation log, a highly efficient data logging mechanism, a fast read mechanism through Ethereum indices. Evaluation shows that P square cache significantly increases the performance of legacy kernel file system. P square cache is now open source on GitHub. And that's all, thank you. Now I'm glad to take any questions.